This is Brian Lunduke. Adam Outler donated, so I have to read this form. Baseball. Panties. I like doggies. Ah, blah, blah. You're watching XDA Developer TV. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com slash tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. Hi there, Adam here. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, but Adam, you only do videos once every two weeks because you don't have enough time. Stop whining. Well, you know what? Man, I love that. That's not... Stop whining. But you see, this is actually about me teaching you guys how to do something that normally I do. Casual. Now, Casual is a development tool. I've designed it from the ground up to be completely modifiable, uh, not only vertically, but also horizontally. So, you know, the SVM revisions continue up, but... You can also develop the program and make it do whatever you want by just grabbing any casual and changing it, then redistributing it. It's that easy. So today, we're going to talk about how you can make your own casual. So let's get started. All right, so let's start by opening up casual. And you can see here that we have this button is grayed out. And if you want to enable that button, uh, you can just double click the link status icon down there. Now, normally uh, this would be a picture up here and that would normally say do it, but we'll get to that in a minute. What I want to point out first is under the about, since the first revision of casual, I've had a developing a script button. And this developing a script button shows you the things that you would want to put in your casual script. And right here is a pretty basic overview of the commands that you can use inside of casual. Uh, these are the commands that are recognized by casual as uh, special commands. The hash mark is a comment and then there's the echo command. You can ADB push by just leaving that blank. However, uh, casual also accepts ADB. But now if you open casual as a zip file, you're presented with this. And this readme pretty much says just go to the scripts folder. Alright, so now this is the scripts. Now, you, you can see in here, you can put in a logo if you like, and the logo is basically whatever you would like to put in for your logo. Uh, the overview is an overview of what the program does. The build.properties, now this right here is where you specify everything that you want to specify in the application. So say we want to change the banner text to XDA Developers. Just hit save, close that out, update the archive, and then open with Java. Casual. Those changes get compiled in. There is never a time when a casual is compiled and you can't figure out what's going on inside of it. Now in this particular one, this is flashing the Nexus 7 with stock firmware. And the way it's doing that is there is a casual script. Now casual script is composed of three parts. You have your zip file, which contains all the resources needed for the file. You have your scripts file, and you have your text file. The text describes what the script does. So you have the overview, like say this is the package that does this, that, and the other thing, and this particular script does just this. Now I don't want to get too far into the development aspect of Casual on this, but more of what it's possible of. The reason why is because there are a ton of Casual commands. So. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to talk about the things that you can actually see happening on the screen. Like uh, this user cancel option. You'll notice here, you say user cancel option, and then this is a total wipe comma. Everything before the wipe will be a uh, title of the message that comes up, and everything after will be the body of the message. So let's go ahead and hit the button. Now you notice it says uh, first thing, it says ask you if you want to continue because it's a user cancel option. And at this point you can say continue or stop. Let's go ahead and stop. So now if we were to continue this, it would say fast boot, OEM unlock, and then it would erase the boot cache, erase a whole bunch of different things. And finally what it would do is it would start referencing these zip files. These zip files here, if you say zip file bootloader grouper, whatever the file, whatever the script is named, the zip file 
will accompany it and this will be referenced as the zip file so if you wanted to flash this through fastboot the bare minimum thing that you would need to do is say fastboot flash bootloader zip file bootloader group or image and that would flash this and then down here you'll notice we do an update dash w update and then zip file image nakasi and so on and so forth and that's this file so casual takes care of locating all these files for you on windows linux and mac and puts them all in a place that they can be accessed without having to have a whole bunch of different script files for various platforms let's go ahead and close all this out now alright so one of the lesser known things about casual is that you can actually use it from the command line so if we do dot slash install so this is the name of the casual file and regardless of what is packed with these commands will work on their own uh, you can use the dash e command or dash execute and we can say any casual command that we want adb devices now this is going to return nothing but watch this it's actually going to go on through deploy what it needs to deploy and then return a list of attached devices right here and that'll pretty much work with just about any casual command you want and let's do an echo high casual. and as you can see this casual command right here was executed just fine now let's go ahead and look at it a little bit different way if we open this back up go to the scripts folder we can pull that out and place it onto our desktop now let's open up that folder take everything inside of here compress it down and we can call this Nexus 7 CAS pack and here we have our CAS pack right there now a CAS pack is actually everything required to make a new casual and the way this is done is you can actually use the CAS packager and the CAS packager is actually a command line utility so what we do is we can say dot slash packager dist dot jar and let's go ahead and run this so now what the CAS packager just did was it actually exploded out a copy of casual into a folder structure uh, exploded out the uh, CAS pack that we had put the CAS pack into the casual then compressed it back down into a java jar file and it should just run casual. now say you want to get a casual made for your device but it's not quite supported by the stuff that I'm doing myself so what you'd want to do then is to use this technique and just extract the entire CAS pack make the modifications necessary like uh, say in here you change this over to uh, whatever that works save that and in the zip file you can insert your proper bootloaders and packages and all that stuff save that make yourself a CAS pack and package it up to test it make sure it works after that I would be more than willing to support just about any device out there not a problem at all now you notice actually right here I actually have a profile at goo.im and these are running nightly builds every time a new version of casual comes out it's automatically built at about 2 a.m. in the morning all these right here come from automatic builds and insta builds now insta builds can be built uh, by me just sitting here and clicking this little button right there on my desktop and what this does is it automatically goes into the server creates uh, new versions of the software required and does everything required to build the latest copy of casual and upload all of those copies to the server now I don't remember if I mentioned it or not but this actually works on Linux Windows uh, Mac and uh, the Raspberry Pi too uh, that's a little bit of a different architecture and I like to thank Trev D for getting those binaries squared away for that uh, you know I'm really really hoping that this can uh, free up my workload a little bit because uh, I mean there's a lot of people out there that think that you know casuals is closed little proprietary program that I've been making and I've been doing this uh, you know and hoarding this or something but really you can actually take a casual and modify it into whatever you want after it's been released and re-release it uh, you can build it from source, it's open source. Uh, the SVN repository is uh, r right over here at googlecode.com. That's androidcasual.googlecode.com. Uh, you can build it from source, you can build all the cash packs that I build every night from source. And that's about that. Now there's two more things that I forgot. A casual script can be loaded up from the file menu within the casual application itself. 
And you can also run a CAS pack directly from the command line using the dash dash CAS pack path to your CAS pack option. That's about all for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this here YouTube channel and add me to your circles on Google+. Go to plus.adamoutler.com. What are you waiting for? Hack on.